Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. I hope that you're doing well and I hope that you are feeling lovely. Yes, you know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Beautiful Libras. Anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section with a link to a free natal chart to support you in navigating through all of your beautiful energies within you, beautiful ones. I want to say thank you and send peace and love to you all. Cross watchers, you are welcomed. Yes. You don't have to be a Libra to be a part of the dynasty. Mm -hmm. But let's tap in, beautiful ones, okay? We are exploring the energy of Libra with Capricorn. Yes, Capricorn, you are up. Mm -hmm. I had to close the window. My cat babies are up. So we're going to explore this energy with Libra and the energy of Capricorn. Your person may be a Capricorn. They may have a Capricorn placement. But we're exploring what this energy is between the both of you. So let's go ahead. Let's tap in. Let's dig into this energy. Beautiful ones. Remember, this is a general reading to take what is yours and simply leave what is not. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Spirit, give us the energy for Capricorns dealing with Libras. Libras and Capricorn dealings. Uh-huh. You know, with them dealings come some feelings. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Capricorn and Libra. Thank you. Wow. Okay. We got an activated crown chakra. And material harvest is here. We're pulling six of these. And we have six to come out. So, wow. My Libra is dealing with Capricorns. There's a crown chakra activation with you two energies together okay now either your crown chakra was activated or theirs were we'll we'll discover that as we move right but there's material harvest that's here in your energy it's like you're reaping what you have sown what you've sown into others has presented a new beginning for you yeah, you have a new beginning. This is the crown chakra activated, okay? And this is the material harvest that comes from that activation. I'm feeling like... Mm, wow. Wow. You activated, now flip and switch these energies, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine. There was an activation of the crown chakra that came from this energy. And there's a new beginning that's here that came from it. 
But there is a partnership and an alliance that was formed through this. A partnership alliance is here. And it was formed in an accelerated motion. The universe is helping to really shift the perspective on the speed that it came in at. And it opened up somebody's crown. Yeah. Somebody's crown became activated. And it's an emperor. Mm-hmm. So someone is dealing with an emperor energy. It is every season and the emperor's been showing up. And I've been saying that in all of the readings because... The emperor has really been showing out lately. We got some energies that are stepping up and recognizing their place in this 3D world, right? Mm. Let's dig a little deeper. We got the emperor out here in the crown chakra and the activation of the wisdom that comes from it. And there's material harvest that's here. Spirit, give me the crown chakra. Thank you. Crown chakra. Capricorn. Libra. Mm. Your person can't sit still. That's what I got. Mm. Whoa. I just realized something. And this came out in the reverse. This is the emperor. Authority is the emperor. Mm. And the emperor is in reverse in this energy. And this awareness, look, I'm gonna read the book on this awareness. But look, this is authority. And authority came out in reverse. And looking at it made me realize when it came out in the reverse, it's telling me the exact opposite has happened with this energy, okay? So let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Yeah, this is Spirit's way of saying, hold on, wait a minute. The awareness is... The magician, okay? And the magician is an emperor in reverse that's in your energy. Wow. Uh-huh. This card represents your ability to create your own reality, to set ideas into motion and watch them grow. This is why we have the harvest here, the material harvest. Mm. This card is often drawn when you're ready to switch direction, start a new project, or change careers. Now is the time to use positive thoughts, visualizations, and affirmations as you veer away from negativity. This card represents your ability to create your own reality. Yeah, and you have the ability to work with the universe in partnership. Together, you can manifest change with whatever you desire may be and bring about positive outcome. Knowledge is power and you can lead to success by having faith, keeping your willpower strong and directed and by tapping into the tools that you possess as well as calling on the magic from the universe. You can accomplish anything and everything you set out to do. So, in your energy, there is an emperor in reverse that is a magician, and they're trying to call their authority to this magic. Mmm. Wow. 
glad I didn't miss that because that's a key. That's key right there. Thank you, Spirit. Overall energy is foundation and achievement. Somebody wants to bring They want to bring you some happiness that they don't have for themselves is what I'm getting, okay? You're setting a foundation. And there's an energy here, Libra, that is unawakened. But they're powerful at the same time. They don't use their power correctly. They're not wise. The wisdom hasn't kicked in. Tell us more about the authority in reverse. Power. Look, they're very powerful. Definitely. They could have a Leo placement. But this energy, they don't use it for good. What's happening at this material harvest? I can't help but to see how these are lined up. You have her accelerated motion looking up to the material harvest. Yeah. Sounds about right, Libra. So you have material harvest that's here. Tell us about the accelerated motion. Give me a moment. Accelerated motion. Okay, that's too many. Thank you, Spirit. It's too many. Thank you. Wow. We got two that flip. We're taking them. So look, in the energy, this is what's happening. It's split on a passion ignited. So there's been some passion ignited within you, Libra. This same passion that's ignited in you, ignited the same energy in your person in Capricorn, all right? This is some emotional loss and they're feeling it deep within their heart. And they're going through the motions because they come out with financial and material changes. Financial and material changes while they experience this change in the energy of their heart. But something, you were already ignited in this energy. But it's something that happened with your energy that ignited their heart. I'm gonna read this financial and material change. The pictures is wow. The number five physical card represents changes, changes, challenges, and losses, usually related to the material or financial concerns. You may be losing some of the things around you, but you must acknowledge and know that besides existing as a physical being, you're an incredible and resourceful spiritual entity. Use your powerful forces within you to help through this difficult period. Everything changes for a reason, and this time isn't meant to be a punishment. Know that your current conditions will transform you for better. A positive question to ask yourself now is, what did I learn from this? How can I avoid this in the future? 
Remember that there are lessons to be understood in everything. It's up to you and you alone to decide how long it will take to learn from them. Mm -hmm. So the longer that you stay attached to things, you know, you'll see the changes when it comes to your financial and material losses. This is about a lesson that is attached to it. You definitely activated somebody's heart chakra. Libra. Uh-huh. Wow. Overall energy is light. You were this person's light. You brought light to them. Mm. I split the deck. You definitely passion ignited. You ignited. You woke this energy up. Every thing about them. Mm -hmm. You changed this person. Flip and switch these energies. But you changed this person. Hopefully, soulfully, spiritually. This person will never be the same in your energy. Give me the crown chakra. Capricorn and Libra. Capricorn and Libra. And I reckon... Uh, stand your ground. Wow. I reckon this energy being so powerful, but yet not in control of their power done something to you as well. Probably very good looking as well. Stand your ground, okay? That's what spirit, spirit is telling you, nevertheless, to stand your ground when it comes to this energy. Use your mind, because your crown chakra is activated. So you can't act like you don't know anymore. This is the lesson, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. Stand your ground. Harmony is here. Spirit is saying you could stand your ground and possibly bring this into harmony by standing your ground because someone is definitely being activated in this energy. Material harvest could be connected to this energy. Material harvest, Spirit. Wow, passion ignited. Wow. Material harvest is connected to this energy. Cat babies and Libra. What is happening? <laughs> I love it. Choose wisely. Uh-oh. Spirit says to choose wisely. Frequency of seven. This is about your choices. This is the Seven of Cups energy. This is about knowing delusions from confusion. And you're activated. So there, you know, you can't act like you don't know anymore. Heart chakra is open, wide open. Open enough to bring an emperor that is in reverse into their power. Their true power, activating their heart, bringing forth their awareness. Mm. Their intuition, their them being a whole magician in your energy, you end up performing the magic on them. Give us new beginnings. For my Libras with Caps, Capricorn. Thank you. Memories of love. Wow. This energy is trapped in fear. And they can't make up their mind. They have so many different decisions. This is movement choices and decision. They don't know if they want marriage, the money, growth, or spirituality. You know, this is 
Two of Swords energy. They're double-minded in this energy. And it leaves them trapped in their head. Trapped in fear. And memories of love. They're trapped in memories of love. Wow. This energy is heavy in this time. The cosmos is really pulling on people's heartstrings, literally. It's like either you're going to flex it, you're going to grow it, you're going to get the power, the courage, uh-huh, yeah. To tap in or not. It's, it's just that simple, right? Mm. People are sitting on things, and this is why the energy, you know, is retrograding. This isn't this is about you setting and going forward with these new beginnings. It's not about the past. Not this one. Because we're going through an eclipse. Everything is joining together. The moon, the sun, the earth. This is a reset energy. And somebody is holding on to memories from the past. Wanting some harmony. Wanting to come into union. Two of Cups type of thing, right? I split the deck. Triumph and success is here. Ace of Swords energy. This is the truth. This is triumph and success. And a transformation. Someone was going through a transformation and there was a disruption. Okay. Yeah. Someone was definitely on their way. This is why the power is half man, half lion. You know, it's like taming the wild beast within themselves. When we talk about this emperor in reverse. But this. Mm, hmm. Let's talk about it partnership and alliance you have more than just a friend in this energy this was an alliance this is something you formed together it was a bond give me the partnership and the alliance spirit for capricorn and libras all right there we go wow it's a spiritual union this is a spiritual union in the way it came out though, with harmony still here at the bottom. This is high level spiritual union. Definitely, you activated their heart chakra. Mm. Wow. Let's talk about it. We have, you're being told to stand your ground, okay? As beautiful as this love story is, <laughs> your spirit is telling you stand your ground with this energy. Crown chakra is activated, stand your ground. And the color around this card is also purple like the crown chakra. Frequency of seven, you having a higher knowledge now so to stay grounded is to actually be in full cooperation with the knowingness of your crown and its communication to the cosmos above guiding you towards this harvest that's here because you have a passion that's been ignited in this energy when it comes to your material harvest you were manifesting more than just this energy to be who it is, you know they are in a spiritual sense. You're manifesting what it is that belongs to you. Naturally, what you're sent here to operate in. Stand your ground, spirit. Capricorn and Libra. Okay. Temptation. Whoa. Why, of course. Ah. This is why spirit is telling you to stand your ground. Because the devil always wants to come sit down and talk to you. Uh-huh. 
especially when you're standing your ground against the emperor in reverse. Wow, someone's about to fall weak. Somebody may propose that you rejoice and celebrate and let love begin. Uh-huh, that's the overall energy. Somebody may make that proposal to you. But spirit is saying to stand your ground. The overall energy is temptation. Temptation to rejoice and celebrate. And let love begin. The universe is here. Recognition and reward. But you're also being told to be patient for it. See, this is this is when spirit says you you want to jump the gun too fast let me throw this test in front of you because if you move before the time is right you'll find out what it feel like okay and that's the truth because you got patience and the sword the triumph is success behind patience okay look this energy wants to come into you with a test this is recognition and reward and they may come in feeling as if they want to bow down to the grace of who you are because you have changed them. You definitely have changed this energy. And the universe had everything to do with that. They know it. They're now connected to the universe. They want to let love begin. They want to rejoice in celebrating your energy. But spirit says patience, and that is the truth, okay? And what's behind that is transformation. That transformation is still happening. That part. During Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Look, transformation, disruption, okay? So this is why spirit is telling you, slow, slow down. Yeah. And you like, what I am is what I am. Uh-huh, yeah, I get it. I get it. But spirit is saying to, look, disruption, Rest and rejuvenation. This energy needs rest and rejuvenation from whatever it is they're transforming through, okay? Because your passion is over here super ignited, all right, and turned up. And this is how you opened up this other energy, your person, your this Capricorn, and your energy. Wow. Club Libra, uh-huh. And yeah, they ignited something in you as well. Give me passion ignited. Passion ignited spirit. Passion ignited for Libra and Capricorn's energy. Thank you. Yeah, foundation and achievements. Wow. This is building a sturdy foundation. Mm. To me, this is this says like it took me straight to building castles in the sand yeah it's like you envision having this energy with someone a home um the energy of a deep connection a bond that is a lifetime i want to read this card because i haven't tapped into this card yet actually some cards came out that i haven't even pulled out of this deck, I'm really feeling the energy caps with the energy of Libra. It's pretty dope to tell you the truth. Let me find this. I said I'm gonna separate these chapters with some little stickies, but this book is new. Okay, here we are, Foundation and Achievements. This card confirms that what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong and solid foundation. You deserve this. And it's time for your harvest, for you to harvest the rewards. And the harvest is down here too, material harvest. Wow. You deserve this. And it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts. What you sow you now can reap what you sown is what I would say, but it says what you sowed, you now can reap. Be open to receive as you've worked hard, as 
have given so much. Allow the universe to give a little back to you for there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order for a prime, the pump of gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction. Using the more traditional meaning in Tarot, this card represents a pure for a celebration of peace and prosperity. It may also imply a marriage or the buying of land or a new home. As you enjoy this time of relaxation that you so deserve, now that nothing remains stagnant and the winds of change are always at your door. Wow. I'm glad I read that. That's beautiful. It's foundation and achievements. It's time to build those castles in the sand that you've been dreaming of. That's what I got. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's talk about it. <laughs> this energy is so good. I'm about to reach for the original tarot and I don't want the energy to change. There's definitely, you know, I mean, of course we want the emperor to not be in reverse, but there is something that you have already invested in. Look, someone's going to come back into your energy to try to test you in this energy cat. Let's go ahead. Let me get the original tarot. See what's going on in this energy. Let's dig a little deeper. Beautiful energy. Libra, you just out here activating and procreating. Beautiful energy, trying to save the world, I see. Uh-huh. I love it. Let's go ahead and break it down. <laughs> Let's break it down some more. Beautiful, beautiful ones. My energy's dealing with these dealings. These dealings with all of these feelings for a Capricorn energy. This one is heavy. Whoever I'm picking up on is heavy, man. It's heavy. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me a card for Capricorn with Libra energies. Capricorn with Libra energies. Dealing with Capricorn with Libra energies. Capricorns with Libra's energy. Dealings with Capricorn and Libra. Thank you. Yeah, this energy does want to celebrate. That's the truth. And they're stuck in your head when it comes to you. Nine of Swords. Okay, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two, excuse me, Ace of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Mm. More cards. Mm. Their family is no good. Uh-huh. Ten of Pentacles. In whatever way that fits, okay? I'm not judging. I'm reading these cards. But their family is in reverse. Ten of Pentacles, okay? They don't have a legacy that they've set. It's not sturdy. It was never sturdy is what I'm seeing, okay? Let's talk about it. More cards. Capricorn and Libra. Came out crossing, but more so in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody's not delusional anymore, but it definitely is a collaboration here of some sort. You got the Three of Cups. 
with the three of pentacles at the very bottom. So what I'm getting is there was some type of corrupt collaboration when it came to three parties or more energies. But someone isn't confused about this energy anymore because you have the seven of cups in the reverse. On top is the ace of swords. They know the truth about these energies. Let's talk about it. More cards. Capricorn and Libra. Okay. Awesome sauce. We got a cross and page of pentacles that came out, but it crossed on my ankle. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Uh, yeah. So you have a page of pentacles out here. This is um, a new beginning in thought when it comes to seeds that you planted that are going to bring forth some abundance to you. The sun is here. Mm -hmm. Happy days are here. You're in this real inventive energy, Libra, okay? But let's talk about this Three of Cups. Three of Cups for Capricorn and Libra. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it was a Knight of Cups energy. There's a Knight of Cups and a King of Pentacles energy. Mm -hmm. This King of Pentacles probably came to you. Could be, you know, a Capricorn, <laughs> which is a King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm energy that brought you a cup of love all right knight of cups energy now flip and switch these energies we're reading energies and we're just reading energy <laughs> okay knight of cups this is some love some a uh, capricorn brought you brought you all right this earth sign somebody's baby daddy uh-huh and they could just be a father figure of some sort in your energy right Hmm. Okay, let's talk about it some more. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Give us the Ace of Swords. Thank you. Got two cards that won't lose. Yeah, somebody wants to be creative with a Queen of Wands, but they're in a page, pages energy. Mm hmm. Like they want to start something new, a new creation. That's the truth. And the overall energy is. Yeah, they want to invest in your energy. This is something that they feel they've invested in and that they want to continue. They watch, they're watch. they watching this energy. They're watching this energy grow. Give me a second, beautiful ones. I want to make sure my phone is charging. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, and they want to invest in this Queen of Wands energy. Someone who's beautiful and handles her business, minds her business, drinks her water. Uh huh. Hmm. They're stressed out. Give me the Nine of Swords. Thank you. Uh, this one. Yeah, they're stressed out because they told a bunch of lies. Uh huh. And they didn't get away with it. They definitely want to talk to you. They want to send a message of love. That's there. Mm -hmm. And they want some fast communication too. But they're trying to find their balance. They're still in this energy of wanting to find their balance. What are they manifesting? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Mm, wow. <laughs> Two swords in the reverse. This is somebody made a decision. They're manifesting you. Somebody, look, Knight of Swords is this overall energy. They want to make some big changes because they have made up their mind. They've taken the blinders off because they're tired of feeling left out in the cold. Uh-huh. But they're still trying to find their balance. Let's tap into the energy of this Page of Pentacles. Let's see how they're doing. How's the Page of Pentacles doing, Spirit? How's the Page of Pentacles doing? Hey, sweetie. Okay. Ooh, wow. This is how they're doing. They're not doing so good. No, they're not. Mmm, yikes. Financially. They could have lost a job. They could be out of work. They could just not be operating in their skill set, okay? They're going all wrong. They're trying to find their balance. 
Wow. Mm. And the Queen of Cups is here, you know? This could be you and your energy of a Queen of Cups. You know, you're compassionate. Someone's down on their luck. This person probably has communicated to some of you. Or wants to, at least. <laughs> they could possibly need a helping hand, okay? I'm going to tell you, uh, not my job came to mind just now, okay? Not my job. However, wow. They're actually going through a lot. These are burdens behind the Queen of Cups, okay? But you don't want these burdens. This could be their energy as well. Their in this energy of possibly feeling bad for themselves as they go through these burdens. And they're watching you in this victorious state is what I'm getting. Yeah, <laughs> two of cups. Yeah, they see you as winning. And they want to win with you. This is the vibe, okay? This is the vibe they're throwing out here. They've been enlightened with the hangman here. Or they would tell you that, but financially, it's not looking good. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're looking like a burden, all right? That could possibly try to play on your empathy. That's what I'm getting. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, wow. Four of Pentacles. Look, this family that they want to close a cycle with or that they're willing to close a cycle with so that they can expand with you with the three of wands it's a four of wands situation they don't want this corrupt family or this family in the reverse this legacy that is not that doesn't have a leg to stand on okay they want this four of wands energy they want happiness and bliss and la 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 yeah, they want the beautiful things in life. That's what they want. That's what they like. And look, that's what they want. That's what they like. Page of Cups. They want some new love. They want to start a new love with an Empress energy. Quit playing with me. Beautiful ones. They want to Eight of Cups it. Walk away from it all. Yeah, they do. Mm. Split the deck. You're the wish fulfillment, Libra. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this seven of swords. Let's talk about this lying and this cheating right here. <laughs> seven of swords. Capricorn, Libra. To a whole empress, okay? Come on now. They couldn't get away with this. Overall energy, a king of wands. And the energy cutting up like this. They could have a Sagittarius placement. Move forward. You could live at a distance from them. They could have traveled to see you. They may want to travel to see you. You may have traveled to see them. They, Like I said, hey. This year they wish fulfillment. And it's a lot of grief and regret behind this here. Yes, it is. A lot of grief and regret. They started a lot of conflict in your energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But now they want to put the swords down because they feel left out in the cold. And they're broke. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on. Don't let them tell you anything else. Mm-hmm. <sighs> my, my. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Yeah, I don't know where else to go with this one. I'm telling you, stand your ground like the spirit. Gods and ancestors are telling you. Stand your ground. Stand it. Because this ain't it. You got the sun out here. Let's talk about this collaboration. Who did they collaborate with? What's going on? This collaboration. A king of cups energy. Mm. Interesting. Possible another masculine energy in this energy. Or someone that wanted to heal something from the past that was in their emotions. Who had some faith that they could heal things after they became enlightened. About a nine of pentacles. You got a king of cups in your energy. Who 
who's the king of cups with the three of pentacles what's the king of cups with the three of pentacles high priestess energy yeah <laughs> and your overall energy is you queen of swords okay so yeah there's a king of cups in your energy there's someone else here and they want to get together High Priestess and the King of Cups. High Priestess and the King of Cups. Possible Cancer placement with a Virgo placement as well. Thank you. Ah, Queen of Swords. Look, you can't get away from it. Yeah. You got a King of Cups in your energy as well. Mm-hmm. And this King of Cups is this new love that's in your energy. And... You may have some boundaries up. You have boundaries up. You have someone broke and wanting to be, you know, in the mix with you. But I believe you're standing your ground with that energy, although they may be tempting you, all right? Or you may feel tempted to even reach out to this energy. But the overall energy is a death. Mm-hmm. This death is here, overall energy of a queen of swords. So it's definitely been, look, this rebirth, your high priestess energy. This is your open crown chakra. This is spirit reminding you again, okay? The boundaries and open crown chakra really being high priestess energy. There's this king of cups you need to collaborate with. Or right, that's in your energy for you to collaborate with versus going back on the emperor in reverse. Mm-hmm, let's see. Yeah, leaving it all behind after a death was put to some things because, I mean, you're tired of being a wounded hero, right? For somebody who won't let go of your energy. It's like submitting to someone else's will, acting like you don't know that it's their will you're actually submitting to. And you can't escape the knowing of that anymore because you know give me the seven of cups look you're no longer confusing your head we got the seven of cups that's in the reverse the queen of wands energy that sits above it this is you being about your business and you standing in your confidence of who you are so you know what it is you know seven of cups is in the reverse you're not delusional you're not you're not going through any type of um, mental imbalances when it comes to what's going on with what it is you know for sure. I split the deck. You're sharp-minded. You're quick-witted. Uh-huh. You're making changes in your life. Not a sword's energy. Let's talk about it. Give me the Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Capricorn and Libra. All right. Oh, this is way too many, but I know it tells a story. I don't want to tell you. You're going to expand, definitely, okay? Um, you're expanding. Six, excuse me, seven of cups. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Look, you are not confused about this energy. Who stabbed you in your back? This is ten swords. And it's a King of Wands placement, a Sagittarius placement. This synergy could have, because also what's sticking out, they rushed towards you. This was, you know, and they were juggling when they rushed towards you, okay? Yeah. Hmm. And you're not confused anymore. Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. Thank you. The world. You close out a chapter on the Knight of Wands, okay? Yeah, they can go rushing right their horse off into the sunset on top of somebody else, right? Because that's what you did. You doing it moving and overall energy is the lovers. You got somebody knocking at your door. Uh-huh. Who wants to give some equal giving reciprocity is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. And that's the judgment for you, Libra. Yeah. 
this fighting, all this fighting they had going on, this competition, guess what? You stayed on your will of fortune and you kept some empathy in your heart as you healed. Because that's the only way you're going to heal. You got to be able to activate your own heart chakra. And I see in the oracle before, the two row before, that your heart chakra is fully activated. I split the deck. There's a lot of grief and loss behind losing you. Uh -huh, and a lot of chaos that follows it with this energy of the, of the past. Queen of Pentacles is here. Another earth sign energy, okay? Somebody's feeling some type of way about this energy. They could have a Virgo placement. Hmm. Yeah, this King of Pentacles ain't kinging. They're not doing so good financially. Looks like they want back in the energy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's go ahead and pull some tea cards on this and get ready to close out. Some tea leaves, some tea leaves. Let's get some tea leaves out here. I feel like, you know, this is the energy. This is the vibe. Be sure to hit the like button. You want me to do more energies on Libra and Capricorn. Uh-huh. This was a, a little ride. This energy was a little different. Uh-huh. Mm, I'm not going to hold you. It's kind of exciting to me. <laughs> so I know it's been a whirlwind for my beautiful Libras. Cards for Libra. Energies for... The energy of Capricorn and Libra. We got one that flipped. Let's get her out here. All right. What else? Capricorn and Libra. Capricorn and Libra. Get some more. I'm happy I did Capricorn and Libra. <laughs> I don't think I've done that combination. I mean, they show up in the energy. But I feel like Capricorn should have some more recognition. At least that's what my son told me. And he's a Capricorn, okay? All right. And... Let me go through these energies. Let me get some more out here. I'm going to see what these messages are. For your energy and you know what i didn't clarify the sign but i'm about to let's go ahead and get more energies uh more cards for caps and libra caps and libras caps and libras mm, no caps and libras Be careful with these signs. They're slippery. Okay, there we go. I like to be intentional with my shuffle. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to run through these and I'm going to clarify the sun at the end. And we'll close out, beautiful ones. You have the caterpillar that's here. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming, all right? Crib is here. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise, all right? Definitely creation is out here. Because the Empress is here. Arrow. 
you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Tortoise is here. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Grasshopper. Situation in the balance that require careful holdings, handling, okay? Careful handlings. Key is here. Successful outcome to your problems. Success is here. The weeping willow is here. Family sorrow. There's some type of sorrow in the family. Could be yours or your Capricorn. Shield is here. You need to defend yourself. Mm, spirit is stressing that. Stand your ground, Libra. Wealth is here. Mm-hmm. And Capricorn, stand your ground. If that's what they need to do, right? This is both ways. Woman is here. Dealings are relationship with a woman, okay? Somebody has dealings or a relationship with a woman. This one doesn't come out often, so believe it, all right? They're still dealing with somebody in the past. Great worry over nothing. Well is here. This is the well. Good news. Expect to hear some good news soon. Good news is here. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. A distant friend is thinking of you. Horse is here. Short journey. You could be traveling to someone. They could be traveling to you. You could be taking a car ride down the highway. Ladder is here, climbing towards success. It could be business related. See a good friend, handle some business. Basket is here. Recognition, reward for merit. You're being rewarded. And that's showing up big time. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. The bowl is here. Plenty of material things. So many confirmations on that. You have a rat in your energy. Someone working against you behind your back. Mm -hmm. Rainbow is here. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Turkey is here. Someone is behaving stupidly. They are. Vase is here. Our vase. Secret admirer. I felt that in your energy. I felt a secret admirer. I did. And I feel like that's who this energy is that has a cup of love. You may have not met this energy yet. That's what I'm feeling. Affairs with your family, okay? Family affairs is here. Something to do with your ancestry, okay? Your tree. Maybe you need to tap in. Maybe you need to look into it. Your tree itself or follow up with someone in your family. Get some information from someone in your family. Haystack is here. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. And you have a fair man that's here. Dealings are relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair, okay? That could be this energy that we see when it comes to your secret admirer. <laughs> yeah, they can have light skin, light hair, blonde or gray, a distinguished energy, beautiful ones. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's clarify this sun energy and close out for Libra and Capricorn. Libra and Capricorn spirit with the sun. Give me the sun. Libra's energy. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Bam. And that's how she roll. Overall energy is the lovers. Yeah, it's going to be sweet when they get there. <laughs> Beautiful ones. This is your read. 
I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.